Hi guys, PJ here, back with another Where is Zor? It's the 1st of May, let's see if he's got anything interesting. So, we're going to run over to the hangar, if you're new to the game, he's basically at the tower, one of his favourite haunts. Always do this just for new players, so you can see how to get to him, where he is. If you're a long-term player, you already know his location, he's up on a, on a stairwell out of the way. I think his visits have been pretty good lately. We've had some decent stuff off him, so we're uh, quite hopeful once again. Here he is, up here. Okay. Yep, I class this as a good week, guys. Very good week. So, our blast. I think that's how you pronounce it, or our blast. It's definitely worth buying. I've got this, I've used it an awful lot when it was first available in the game. We'll just uh, bring up the picture. Really cool looking. This one, fire slugs that cause massive damage to elemental shields of enemy combatants. Yeah, it's pretty much a sniper rifle. Uh, it goes in your top position of your gun slot, but it will take down, as it says, a shield in pretty much one hit and also damage the, you know, the, the actual enemy itself as well as take the shield down to quite a significant amount. Although impact's only at half, it seems to be a lot more powerful than perceived. It's a very well respected weapon in the Destiny community. It was very well received when it first came into the game. You have absolutely got to buy this weapon. This is a very good weapon. Like I say, it will take your top slot and it is sort of a slow firing sniper so you're going to want something in your second slot that's a bit quicker but um, yeah you've got to get it guys I've got no cosmetics to show you unfortunately on this particular one but yep yeah, use it I did enjoy it I'm sure you'll be very happy with it 29 shards go okay next we have Graviton Forfeit if your hunter's on invisibility, this improves it. Okay, so in other words, duration is what you're looking at. Your melee recharges faster while you are invisible. Yeah, there you go. Look, increases the duration of any invisibility. It does extend it quite a while, um, so it's not bad. I think it looks pretty cool as well. So you could do worse for a hunter. This is a sort of mid-range one, in my opinion. It's not a don't buy it, but it's not a must-have grab. It's a yeah. You know, you could probably give it a try if you've got loads of shards and you're not worried about spending them. I mean, if you're tight on shards, yeah, you know, obviously give it a bit of a leave. But um, it's not bad. It does extend the duration of your invisibility significantly. If you don't use invisibility, there's no point in buying it whatsoever. So bear that one in mind. Okay, next we have Mark 44 standard sides for the Titan. He's had these a lot, a lot. He's had these tons in the last year. So to do his shoulder, tar uh, shoulder charge, get the words out, very, very early in the morning here, I apologise for that. Grants an overshield when you're sprinting at full health with seismic strike, hammer strike or shield bash equipped and charged. Hits with these abilities recharge a portion of your melee energy. It is pretty useful um, if you're using one of these, so it's not tied to one thing only, it is spread across a few things there. And the overshield, yeah, it's pretty good this isn't quite as good as the hunter one but it's still middle tier okay so it's not appalling but it's by no means great it looks nice though that's a decent redeeming feature for it in my opinion so again if you're bustling with shards then maybe you know if you're not if you're tight on shards then yeah definitely leave it guys it's uh you know there is better out there sort of thing but um other than that it's mediocre Moving on. Astro, astro, oh man, here we go. Astrolite, astrocyte, astrocyte. We'll go with astrocyte. More crap at pronouncing these. Astrocyte verse uh, improves blink. So if you're using blink teleport on your warlock, you know, this helps. But it is tied to only that, unfortunately. If you don't use blink, I mean, I don't use blink on my warlock, and to be honest with you, I've only tried it a few times and hated it, but some people absolutely love it, so fair enough. Blink further and more frequently. Weapon readies quickly out of blink and radar remains up. Mm, I think it's the weakest of the bunch today. It looks pretty good with the sort of solar effect or whatever it is on the, on the front of it there, but in my opinion, this is a leave it, not, not a purchase. There's definitely way better out there for, you know, the warlock. 
even your shaders, it's minimal look because of where it shades. It's not really anything super duper. So I'm going to say leave this one and save your shards, Warlock guys. You, you get something better than this. So um, we've got definitely by the gun. We've got yeah, just above mediocre there for the hunter. We've got just below mediocre for the uh, Titan, and pretty much leave it for the uh, Warlock. And don't forget, you've got your exotic engram. If you haven't got ticks across the board and you're doing a collection. Well, now's the time to click some and buy, buy one, but they are very expensive, so bear that in mind. So, there you go. Zor will be with us over the weekend, and we'll leave again when the weekend's passed. You know, a lot of people come to me on a Wednesday or Thursday. Where is he? He's not there. Yeah, he's gone by then, guys. He's going to go to a different place, probably, the next weekend. That's the way it works. That's where he is. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you again next week. Bye for now.